welcome to day number four. Welcome to day number seven. Day number 12. Welcome to Do It Heartily. Aloha, welcome to day 209. Woo, we are flying through our days. Uh, first, I wanna tell you about a switch that we're gonna be making. Um, I've been praying about this for a while. God's been pressing this on my mind. He's been pressing this on my heart. I am going to take us out of the book of Matthew. In my own head, I was like, no, we need to finish the book of Matthew. And we still had a long ways to go. Uh, but God, for some reason, I don't know what it is. I have to follow God's leading. God wants me to make a switch to the book of Judges. However, I am still going to have you guys in your own personal devotions continue reading the book of Matthew. So you, you are going to go through the book of Matthew for the rest of it on your own. If you have any questions about the book of Matthew, please feel free to ask me. I am going to have questions relating to what you are reading, so make just to make sure you are still reading it. Uh, but today, we are going to start in the book of Judges, chapter number one. So get your Bibles out. Like I said, I don't... I just have to follow God's leading, all right? God presses it on my mind, he presses it on my heart, and he has laid the book of Judges on my heart, so let's do it. Judges chapter number one, verse number one, it says, now after the death of Joshua, all right, Joshua's dead, it came to pass that the children of Israel asked the Lord, saying, who shall go up for us against the Canaanites first to fight against them? Excuse me. Now, we need to learn something about the Canaanites before we continue. Uh, hold your place in the book of Judges, but turn with me to the book of Deuteronomy. It's just a few books before. Deuteronomy chapter number 20. Deuteronomy chapter number 20. I'm getting there as well. Verse number 17. It says, But thou shalt utterly destroy them, Namely, the Hittites and the Amorites, the Canaanites. Okay, listen carefully to that. The Canaanites and the Perizzites, the Hivites and the Jebusites, as the Lord thy God hath commanded thee. So what does God command? Look at the first part there. To destroy the list of those people. And then verse number one, at the end, it says, Who shall go up for us against the who? The Canaanites. So God God's command to destroy them has still not been fulfilled. Okay, so let's look. Verse number two, it says, And the Lord said, Judah, Judah is a person, shall go up. Behold, I have delivered the land into his hand. Verse number three, And Judah said unto Simeon, his brother, Come up with me into my lot, that we may fight against the Canaanites. And I likewise will go with thee into thy lot. So Simeon went with him. So Simeon and Judah, Judah, Simeon and Judah come together, boom, like a tag team wrestling champions, and they say, we're gonna go after the Canaanites, and we're gonna tear them up, all right? So, verse number four, and it says, and Judah went up, and the Lord delivered the Canaanites and the Perizzites into their hand, and they slew of them in Bezek 10,000 men, all right? So, they didn't stand a chance. Judah is doing some major damage to the Canaanites, Verse number five, and they found Adonai Bezek in Bezek, and they fought against him, and they slew the Canaanites and the Perizzites. Now, here's something you need to know about Adonai Bezek. And he's actually going to talk about this a little bit in verse number seven. Seventy different kings. That means 70 different battles and wars happened before today. And all 70 kings and battles lost. But here, God sends Judah and Simeon in and gives them victory where the other men did not have victory. Those other kings, they tried with all their own might and lost. Judah and Simeon had God on their side and God gave them the victory. And now this time, it's Adonai uh, Bezek. It's his turn to lose, okay? So they got him. They've killed the Canaanites. They're killing the Parasites. Verse number six, but Adonai Bezek fled. So he ran away and they pursued after him and caught him. Now notice what they do here. They cut off his thumbs and his great toes. 
They don't just kill them. Remember what we read in Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 17. God said he wanted them utterly destroyed. He didn't want them handicapped or just maimed or anything like that. He says, destroy them. And that included Adonai Bezek. So God gave them the victory, but in their own victory, they did not obey God fully. They just should have killed them. We've got to remember when our parents tell us something or when we're under somebody else's authority, and most importantly, God's authority, he wants us to obey 100%, not 99, not 95, 100%. So, and Adonai Bezek said three score and 10 kings, that's the 70 I was talking about, having their thumbs and their great toes cut off. So that's what he did to the other 70 kings. So I don't know if Judah and Simeon were kind of like, hey, this is payback for what you did to the other kings, but that wasn't their call to make. That was God's. That's something they should have taken to God. It says, gathered their meat under my table as I have done. So God requited me and they brought him to Jerusalem and boom, there he died. Okay, he died. But remember, God was very specific in Deuteronomy 20, 17. He wanted him destroyed. Yes, he would have died then, but now it's just kind of like he had a, a, a very long and slow death. God said, I just want them gone. Canaanites destroyed. So Judah and Simeon, uh, although God had chose them for this victory, they ended up messing up. Don't mess up, guys. When God gives you guys victory, when God chooses you to have victory, make sure you are following the letter of the law and you are going 100% of what he says. Obedience is the very best way to show that you believe. All right, continue in your relationship with God. We'll pick up back up in the book of Judges tomorrow. We love you. God loves you even more. And aloha.